Hi, I'm Mike Snyder from ATV, and I'm here at Full Compass to show you the electro-organic A-frame. It's a new class of electronic percussion, and we're going to figure out why that is. The A-frame is unique for a lot of reasons. One of the big ones is it uses your strike to help create the sound. It takes your strike, uses it as an impulse response, and uses those frequencies to trigger all the DSP that's inside. All that DSP can be manipulated by you in amazing ways. This is actually what the polycarbonate plane surface, it's textured, sounds like. This is just the two audio pickups right now. You'll notice when I strike it in different places, and in different ways, the sound changes. Anything I do here is reflected in the final sound output. Let's see how that happens in real life. This drum is one called Framey, and it mimics an acoustic frame drum. So like when you heard just the sound of the, the plane surface, when I play in the edge, I get more high frequency content, just like I do on a regular acoustic frame drum. A little less here. Again, high frequency content. A different type of high fre frequency content. This is the beauty of DSP. DSP is a lot different than sampled sounds. We aren't using any sampled sounds in the A-frame and that's really important. It allows you, using DSP, to express your playing style. You notice when I play here, I'm muting the sound. I'm doing so by just putting pressure on the playing surface. And that's triggering a pressure sensor in the middle. And I can use that pressure sensor to do a lot of different things. Muting, which is one of the most obvious things for a percussionist. Or crazy things like changing effects. stopping the effect with pressure. I can also use it to change pitch and things like delay times, as well as pitch of the delay. When we put the pressure sensor in, that made it an instrument that and the two microphones, and you can completely capture your playing style and your touch. The A-frame allows you to reimagine your touch. Now, if you're wondering what DSP is, it stands for Digital Signal Processing. And what we're doing in the A-frame is using four different areas of DSP to create the sound palette. The main two are called main timbre and sub -timbre, And they are the main core of the digital signal processing in the A-frame. They take multiple frequencies, in fact, 32 a piece, and allow you to pick these frequencies and figure out a starting point for the sound you're hearing and you want to recreate. 
Let's listen to some of this. This is a patch that I developed. This patch is called Got A-Frame, and it's one that I play around with and kind of, it's my test bed, if you will. So I'm gonna go into edit mode just by pushing two buttons and go into the main sub timbre. I'm gonna mute the other three areas of editing and you'll hear just the main timbre. Of course, it changes again. You can hear the difference in frequencies from where I play on the head. But let's change a few things. This is using what we call the natural overtone series. So you have, in the natural overtone series, the fundamental, right? That's the pitch, the main pitch. And then you have the second overtone, which is the fundamental and the octave. And then if I add the third one, it would be the fifth above that and then the third above that. And I can keep going, I, that's just four, all the way up to 32. So I can choose any number of those between one and 32. So I like the complexity of all of them. All right. Now, I'm gonna pick the main tuning. I can choose in hertz the fundamental pitch or of this particular patch. Pretty wacky. All right, I can also choose the decay time all the way up to 10 seconds. and all the way down to just 100 milliseconds, which is the tenth of a second. More just like an attack noise. So I'm gonna, yeah, that's two seconds, sounds pretty good. I also have high pass filters, low pass filters, band pass filters, a lot of other parameters I can play with that I'm just gonna bypass for now. And I also have overdrive, which is a pretty cool thing. So right now, no overdrive. Pretty quickly, it comes kind of nasty sounding. Very, very cool. But I'm gonna go back down to zero. Yeah, all right. Some of the other things I can do. Now that was the, basically most of the editing of the main timbre. Then I can go and do the same thing with the sub timbre. I have an additional 32 EQ settings or, or, or frequencies that I can choose from. And uh, so I'm gonna go up and that one's set to natural. Let's hear it. Let's do something different. This is just the odd number of frequencies, 32 of them. Let's combine the two, the main and the sub. So most of the parameters between the main and the sub are exactly the same, with the exception of you have a delay, so I can delay the sub sound, the second set, in milliseconds. I'm gonna delay it eh, 22 milliseconds, and I'm gonna have it repeat three times. or eight times. And that's even before we get to sending these sounds through the effects section, which has delay also. Pretty wild. The next section is called the extra section, and that's where we can add in the percussion style components. And that would include things like white noise, or click, like white noise. Kind of snare soundish, sort of, or a low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter, jingles, which are actually sawtooth waves. Does that sound familiar? How about like an 808, which was totally analog? That's the basis, a sawtooth wave of a lot of the 808 cymbals and uh, cowbells. I like that one. We can add click too. But I'm going to go back to the 
because that's a cool sound. Change pitch, obviously. Fundamental pitch. The decay. Making it a little longer. Um, and how long it holds. Now let's add that in with the main and the sub. So we're actually in three sections now. Might get you fired for some gigs, but it's a pretty cool sound. The fourth area of editing is where you can add in the analog audio content of the two pickups. That is most of the basic editing of the A-frame. It's really flexible and really, really deep. Don't be afraid to experiment. It will faithfully recreate your playing style and your striking technique. The A-frame will adapt to any playing style. Right now, this is kind of a new way to play. I've attached it here with a camera strap so I can mute it, throw it aside, play percussion, come back to it when I want to play it again, unmute it, and play. It's really cool. But if I'm a more traditional player, I can, let's say, unsnap it, not use a strap, and play it frame drum style. or I can play it on my lap. I can play it more like a cajon. So it adapts to any playing style you have. You might have noticed that I walked in without any cabling. Check this out. I'm running the A-frame off a USB backup battery, so I'm not tethered to it at an AC source. Also, I'm using a stereo wireless setup, so I can walk around out from behind my percussion setup and be downstage interacting with the audience, with the singer, with, with the guitar player, with the bassist, anybody in the band, or the audience. This is a new experience for a percussionist, having this kind of flexibility and be able to be downstage in front of the audience. It's freeing. There you have it. That's the ATV Electro Organic A-Frame. For more information, you can go to fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass sales pro.